Welcome to another App Manager 8 video. My name is Michi Schniebel. I'm Product Manager for App Manager. And in this video, I will talk again about the health check. Uh, in specific, uh, how we monitor the App Manager components with the health check. So uh, by looking to the uh, case category AIM Health, you will find uh, two KSs. These KSs uh, are deployed automatically through the KSGs, um, uh, the AM Core Components KSG. Um, you will find policies in these uh, management groups that get created by default based on the AM module discovery. Um, let's take a look to the uh, CC component health first. So what we're basically doing here um, is monitoring the database and everything around the database. So looking for uh, grow rates, looking for SQL jobs, and if the jobs are running or disabled, and you know we can automatically enable these jobs, but we don't do that by default. Um, so, so there are a lot of things you can do, but also with the active components like the deployment service or the CQS, uh, you can uh, do monitoring and restart the service, and you can do data collection here uh, for some metrics that could help you to see trends and see issues coming. So um, by default, this case is running on your components and the default settings are, are pretty much what we recommend and they will automatically tell you if something goes wrong with that component. So let's take a look to the QDB component, same thing, SQL monitoring, and then uh, management server performance monitoring as the management service part of the QDB. And here you can also monitor your map files, the PIOC files, and set a threshold. For instance, if the uh, queue for data uh, runs 80% full, uh, we raise an alert as this is a very good indicator that your environment might be not balanced out correctly and you need more management servers. Um, or maybe you're collecting too much data in a too short time frame and your uh, management service cannot handle that. And you will see then delays uh, by rolling out jobs uh, or uh, data coming in. So, so that's why we monitor all these things automatically now. We tell you, you can do data collection here as well. Um, and let's take a look how this works in the, my environment here. So you see there's a management server uh, down here and we, we have events with that management server um, and I had an issue on my um, virtual machine here uh, so it automatically found out that uh, one of these jobs were not working correctly so it raised an alert about this uh, was not severe I was uh, easy to fix uh, however if I take a look to that machine you see I can see the graphs here uh, in this case about the utilization of the QDB and the TempDB which is used uh, with AM7 and AM8. Um, so you, you have some good data here where you can see trends and see how things go. So this basically is the uh, component monitoring uh, from the AM Health and it can be disabled by tweaking the policies and these KSs. Um, or you can modify the jobs uh, and have different severities or different thresholds and different alerts if you like, but we recommend to keep the default settings.